Okay, now what did you want to do here? Okay, so there's first of all going to be a shot of me looking pensively out of the window, uh, and then I'm going to turn to the camera and uh, give an introduction of one of my theories. Okay. Do you want to be wearing the eye mask? Let's get this tea out of the way as well. It's ridiculous. Okay, are we, are we clear now? Yeah, well, Sihan kind of gets in the shot a little bit. Maybe she could lean back. Um, okay. And now, so I've got you, I've got the window, and I can see a little bit of your satchel and notebook, which looks pretty good. Good, okay. Let's go. Uh, okay, whenever you're ready. So, why am I here? Our history is only relatively true. My job is about introducing hypotheses which challenge people and unfreeze them from their historical immobility. Take for example the 18th century map found in Constantinople that belonged to a famous Turkish admiral, Piri Reis. No one thought much of the map until 1957 when two American cartographers superimposed it onto a modern map of the world. And do you know what they found? What they found is that the geographic features of the map, mountains, rivers, plateaus, were exactly correct. It showed stuff that we hadn't found, that man hadn't discovered until the 1950s. There was still a problem, and that was that the odd shape of the map didn't seem to ring true. That was until are we going to be all right with this uh, tunnel in the background, or should I just keep going? Here. Okay. Uh, no, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. Um, that was until Professor Charles A. Hapwood put this map next to photos taken from space. It's a great shame that we've got this going on in the background. Um, these photos in space were taken directly above Egypt, and what did they show? They explained why the map was the shape that it was because that shape fitted beautifully onto the elliptical curve of the world and it explained why the map apparently looked distorted but in fact it looked distorted because it was taken from space now i ask you how did 18th century man create a map that had its view from space i don't think they could I think it was aliens. Now, what do you think about that, Sir? Uh, sounds cool, but I mean, we're going to find aliens. No, 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 we're not looking for aliens. What we're looking for is evidence of extraterrestrial contact with ancient human societies. Evidence? Yeah. Evidence. Now, while I'm talking about evidence, um, is there something you could do for me? Uh, uh, yeah, I'd like to. Um, these are some of Wang Hongshu's uh, papers. I, um, I'm a pretty good linguist, but I've been struggling with this. Um, could I get you to look through it, familiarise yourself with the material, and um, start on a translation? I would do my best. You are good. Isn't she, <laughs> isn't she a wonderful girl, John? I want to just bring the camera around onto her. <coughs> uh, I'm not used to this. <laughs> Sorry.